You will be reading several complex articles in this class. I recommend two reading strategies to get the most out of what you read. So first, picture somebody who cares about the topic and think about what you'd want to tell them as you read. What would they be surprised by? What would they want to know more about? And share these ideas with the rest of us on the discussion board. And second, take notes where you talk back to the author. If they write something that confuses you or angers you or bores you, tell them why. And I'll be curious to see what reactions you have. In that video, the ideas I talked about were fine, but the way I delivered them was completely disengaged. My tone of voice was dry and monotonous, which probably left you not wanting to listen to any more of the video. Plus, I looked down at my notes quite a lot, which meant I didn't come across as invested in my audience members. You'll be reading several complex articles in this class, and I recommend two reading strategies to get the most out of what you read. First, think of someone who cares about the topic and consider what you'd want to tell them. What would surprise them? What would they want to know more about? And share that with the rest of us on the discussion board. And then second, take notes where you talk back to the author. If they say something that confuses you or angers you or bores you, tell them. I'll be interested to hear what reactions you have. In that revised video, I didn't change any of the content, but my enthusiasm and confidence made it more engaging to watch. I looked at the camera to the degree I was comfortable with while checking my notes as needed. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to have your content memorized. It's definitely okay to look down at your notes when you need to. And something I like to do is keep a post-it note with an outline of what I'll be talking about right next to my camera lens so that I can check my outline without having to look far away.